Hi, I'm David Williams, IMT General Service Manager for Kelly Tractor Company. And we at Kelly Tractor Company are extremely excited to announce the arrival of the A150 Foundation Drill Rig to the North American market. Some unique features of this machine is it is built on an IMT base, but incorporates a lot of Caterpillar components, namely a CAT C7.1 Tier 4 engine and cooling package, a CAT hydraulic pump, Caterpillar swing drive, Caterpillar undercarriage, and a Caterpillar operator cab. This machine also incorporates IMT pilot controls, IMT pilot levers, and an IMT hydraulic control valve that is widely used on a lot of our other models, thereby ensuring good parts availability and commonality between all models. Another unique feature of this machine is the rotary. The rotary makes use of removable racks, which makes it very easy for service personnel and the operator to change the racks in the rotary when they get worn out. The rotary is also driven by two power shifts and two hydraulic motors, which allow this machine to develop an impressive 118,000 foot-pounds of torque. Another unique feature is the derrick on the machine. This derrick is a derrick assembly that can be used both in LCA configuration as well as a standard mass configuration, thereby ensuring a very cost-effective change around between standard mast or LCA. Let's go and take a closer look at some other features of this incredible machine. The operator cab of the A150 contains two computer displays that allows the operator to monitor and control various functions on the machine. Over on the right hand side we have the CAT display and the functions and various options that are available to the operator are fully explained in the Caterpillar Operator and Maintenance Manual. Next to that we have the IMT computer display and this gives the operator an indication of what is happening in relation to the drilling function. First of all we have a screen that displays a mast verticality, it gives you a torque meter reading, it gives you a speed, it gives you a rotary gear and it also gives you a depth meter. Just below that we have a button or a switch that controls the rotary speed either first, second or third. And below that we have a blue button that allows the operator to engage high speed spin-off. Just to the right of that we have a red indicator light that shows when the IMT filter needs servicing. This light will be lit when the filter is plugged with debris. To the right of that we have an override switch. It is a main override switch that controls both the main winch, auxiliary winch and the boom up and down function. Below that we have a switch that controls the working lights on the machine. To the right of that we have a button that allows the operator to what we refer to is splitting the Caterpillar pumps. It either allows the machine to operate with one Caterpillar pump operating or with both. Engaging it will split the pumps. Below that we have the depth meter button. This zeroes out the depth meter and also allows the operator to pause the depth meter if required. To the right of that is a yellow auxiliary button and this button on the A150 is not used but it is there should there be further use for any auxiliary functions. At the bottom of the IMT computer display are the two buttons that control the movement of the undercarriage, either extending it or retracting it for transport. On the left hand side of the machine, directly behind the operator cab, is a small compartment that houses the air filter, the battery, the disconnect switch, as well as some electrical components. Also, on the outside of this compartment are steps that are integrated into the door to allow easy access up and onto the top of the machine for service personnel. The left-hand side center compartment houses the CAT C7.1 Tier 4 engine and allows easy access for service personnel from ground level. We have the engine breather assembly, we have the fuel water separator, we have the fuel filter, and we have the engine oil filter that is all within easy reach. 
Also, the operator has easy access to an engine oil dipstick and his coolant level check. The rear compartment on the left-hand side of the machine houses the Caterpillar pump, the IMT hydraulic attachment pump, and also allows easy access for service personnel to the CAT return filter and the CAT pilot filter. This compartment also houses a refueling system that allows easy access for refueling purposes from ground level. The upper section of this compartment also allows access to the engine muffler and regeneration system. The front compartment on the right hand side of the machine houses the Caterpillar control valve, the IMT control valve, as well as the IMT pilot manifold. And again, this compartment allows easy access from ground level for servicing and maintenance purposes. On the front of the compartment is another door. When opened, it reveals the IMT fuse and relay panel. Over on the right-hand side of the machine, in the rear compartment, we have the cooling package. We have the radiator, hydraulic cooler, as well as a fuel cooler. 